My name is Bill Goad. I am the owner and operator of Premier Accuracy, located in Pennsylvania. I have a website called premieraccuracy.com. Now we're going to show how simple it is to set this up for another caliber. I have a 6 PPC case sitting here. I'm going to take my indicator out of station A and just lay it up out of the way so you can see this better. I'm going to take our pins that have the leveling jacks in. Those are all the way down. Those were set for magnum cases. I have an Allen head and I know for a, uh, a PPC it's about three turns. One, two, three, which is inch 360. I have that preset and I'm at inch 368. I'll turn that a little bit. It doesn't have to be exact, but now we're at inch 360. Set that in that station. Bring the other one and bring that out. I've done this enough. I know it's about three turns. One, two, three. And I'll check it with my and there I'm at inch 357 within three thousandths that's good enough. We'll put that in that station. Now we're ready to set up for this is a PPC. I've already checked which end of this is going to support this bullet the best. So slide this in here. The tampening rod is up out of the way. This O-ring holds it out of the way. So, as you can see, we got to move the leveling jacks forward a space. So we'll bring that up to that station, up to that station. Bring this down. And you can see we are away from the shoulder, yet still resting on the neck. And we have good support here where the case would be running out in the chamber. Then simply come back around. Finger tighten this. Does not have to be tight just finger tight and you can see that we're level now we're ready to put our indicator back into the station A and we're going to adjust this move the dovetail Turn that so you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to find the center of that case. And there we have center. Next we want to take our indicator and keep moving that down until it just rides on the case. And this is actually perfect. I've got it to where it's turned in it just goes down to 5 to 10 I don't have very much pressure on that indicator and it's going to give me a good reading that's actually perfect you want to bring the indicator in again about an eighth of an inch away from the shoulder so you can see in the video where I have the needle going to come back behind with finger pressure holding down now I'm going to check the run out of this case and again pushing in and rolling in and roll and this case is running out under a thousandths I have a very good die set up for these but just set it up to show you if it was out I'd find the high side tap it use this tapper and it'll jar it back into run out and that's the proper setup that's perfect these are all pretty good but we'll check them we may find one that's not right so that's running out one and a half thousandths. And we 
got a half out of it. That's now running out 1,000. That's plenty good. Uh, I, I don't get them any better. And that's only a half a thousandths on a side. We're looking for the ones that are... Okay, this, this ammo's all running pretty good. That's a half a thousandths. It's very good. Perfect. 